find a pass in there. Skin off my finger. Nice. Yeah. Might have to, yeah, you pretty well see it, but. Uh. Welcome back to Lower Basel then. Uh, we're here, it's El Scorcho. Everybody's super, super warm. We've had a little bit of a break from, uh, from being on site. As you may remember, we were waiting for a buffer to arrive. That arrived damaged, so we had to pull off for about a week or so. Uh, we're back today, trying to make some more magic happen. It's not ironic, it's 30 degree heat and I'm installed in a, a heating system. Um, luckily for the planet, it's a renewable one. This one's power, so this then goes back to the rotary um, rotary switch on the side, and power wire it in, and then this one here is comms. So this is just uh, a bus cable that speaks back to the wiring center inside. With this one, it's a bit difficult for us. If the pipes were coming along this wall, the bend would look a lot neater and nicer bending this way. But um, the sort of, you know, where the pipes come out of the back of the unit, we have to go that way. When it, so when it goes through its default cycle, um, it obviously drips water, and then that's just a little soak away, which will just, um, all the water will just go down there, and if it goes away, it soaks away. Yeah, and when it gets really cold, obviously it can freeze. So you don't want it all over the face freezing. Go down the soak away, and yeah, it drains away. Now uh, is we're just putting the final uh, connections on the buffer and the heating pipe work for this installation. By the way, guys, if you're interested in becoming a heat geek like Greg and massively increasing your earning potential, check out our courses on our website. And if you're looking for a heating solution yourself, find a heat geek on our heat geek map. <laughs> So we've got the uh, primary flow and return uh, from the heat pump here going in uh, to the buffer. The buffer provides us, uh, is also known as a volumizer and provides hydraulic separation at the same time. So on the uh, secondary side of here, we have our circulating pump. Quite a simple system here. So we're going straight into this underfloor heating manifold. And I'm actually just literally these two valves that you can see me putting in here uh, are gonna be for the on-site plumber to pick up the radiator circuit. So we're just gonna valve that off. We've got some clip rail in place, high and low. We're not quite sure where they're gonna come into this space yet. So I think just uh, isolating them locally here gives the on-site plumber some options for piping the rad circuit in afterwards. Following on from the uh, the buffer debacle that we've had here, this is the original one that was intended to be fitted. Uh, which was out of stock. Uh, we ordered a, an alternative from a different place, but it did arrive damaged, unfortunately. Uh, it looked like somebody had jumped up and down on it and had a lovely time. By which time we knew this was gonna come in um, in a couple of days after that. So we just, we, we, it was easier for us to pull off site, wait for uh, the original valent one. So now we're kind of back to plan A and fitting the, the, the one that was initially intended to go in. Take that, it's gonna take us to Liam. Uh, that will cheer him up. He loves installing that, it's his favorite bit. Hey, Liam, we've been told this will make you smile. <laughs> yeah, or cry. Uh, this is the connection bit for the bottom, uh, which goes under there, but a bit of a nightmare. That connects onto that, and then I can connect the other kit there just to get it into the hole. That'd be, uh, that'd be tomorrow's job. <laughs> Who's that happy, boys? <laughs> oh, I didn't cut very well, look at that. <laughs> Just trying to get through past the film is quite, quite hard. Why is it using this stuff then? Um, it's sort of what it comes with the flexes on the back of the heat pump, so it's good to match it. Um, and I think this is better insulated, so I think this is, um, it holds the heat more. So. Right, this is this stuff that I really like. You still can tape that bit, don't you? Yeah, you tape it, but the insulation needs to be over the clip as well. So you've either cut a little bit out, I think in this because it's 19mm lagging. Uh, oh, the rubber line like the rubber line clip is the pipe plus 20mm. Yes. As well, you can see there. Yeah. So you normally just cut it long enough and then you can just sort of wiggle it on. So then the insulation butts up. Yeah. So then we just don't lose that. That's obviously low temperature. Yeah. Every little bit of insulation counts. Mm. There's literally nothing I can do. What's happening, Greg? We are missing an electrical connection plug for the pump, which was here last week. And we come back in the box. I think it's maybe accidentally been thrown away. So 
Look at the pain. Everything of importance is kind of on this shelf, which is a little bit weird. But the box for the pump, which is the most likely place for it, seemingly has been thrown. So hot, man. Yeah. It's, hey, it's, it's, it's 31 now. Is it actually? Yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know. Right, we have to just move on, and then we have to come up with the plan. We've got here. Where's Liam? Should we break the news to him? Liam, guess what? What? Really exciting news, guy. The uh, power lug connection for the pump is missing. Oh, brilliant. Just going to check all of this before we put any water in it. See you in a bit. See you filming me again. How much is that? I'm just gonna sit my key in the top, ready. And then, uh, yeah, so this is just the first time putting some water in it. I mean, I'll definitely film outside. Liam's pipe open, so. Yeah. Just give him the floor a nice, <laughs> nice water down. Just go and make sure you're not watering the gardens. Yeah, I don't know, in this weather, mate, it's fine. So that's it, uh, Greg's fitted the buffer, um, ready to fill up. Hopefully there's no leaks, fingers crossed. You can hear the buffer starting to vent. So this is exactly the same process like you would bleed the radiators, venting the system basically. Starting from the ground floor, working your way up. Uh, so these air vents is what you can hear hissing. We need some Jeopardy music, don't we? <laughs> Well, that is the voiceover guy off of does all of the discovery, the ITRO Trucker's voiceover yeah. guy. Coming up next on Heat Geek on site, Greg fills up the heating system. Have they installed it correctly? Find out next on Heat Geek on site. Yes, that's me. <laughs> so, this here is the commissioning checklist. Um, so, tomorrow, my job is to fill this all out, all out um, check flow rates, DTs uh, across the system. Uh, and I also have the um, unbending cylinder as well to, uh, to go through, um, also warranties as well for that. Um, that's my job tomorrow and internal lagging. And that'll be us all wrapped up and all finished. Romance explosion at the end. We're very much nearly there uh, with this one. Annoyingly, as you've just seen, uh, we're missing uh, the connector plug for the pump. I'm pretty sure we've got one at the office, so we're going to grab one of those. Uh, Liam's back tomorrow just to do the final few bits, uh, turning on commissioning of the heat pump. Um, but for now, I think it's just hit 31 degrees here, so I'm off to jump in the canal. And um, if you like and subscribe, then I'm sure uh, producer Harrison will show you that video at some point. Cheers. See you in the next one.